Hey everyone, thanks for joining us today at the Clinch River Homestead. And today is a little bit different video. You see this thing next to me? We're gonna talk about that. It's a 3D printer. Hey everyone, so if you were interested in 3D printing and how it can help your homestead, then you've come to the right channel. I haven't seen many homesteaders use a 3D printer yet. I don't know why, because they're so helpful, they can do so much, and we're going to tell you what they can do. But first, what is a 3D printer? What can it do? I don't know. Well, we're going to tell you right now what a 3D printer is, how it works, and what you can do with it. Quite simple. I'm sure you've got one laying around your house, especially if you're in a crafts or you're a homesteader. You've got a glue gun, right? Well, an FDM 3D printer is what we're talking about today, and it's exactly like that glue gun. All it does is deposit some filament down and builds that model up till you have a finished product. Now, it all sounds pretty simple, pretty easy. There's a lot that goes into it. We're gonna get into that in future videos on design and taking that design and bringing it to the printer and making a tangible product with it that we can use in our home or the homestead or the farm. But first, let's show you what we use that 3D printer for on our previous homestead before we moved to Tennessee. It's all about chickens today and uh, we're gonna start off with chicken tractors. So on the screen right now is a chicken tractor that we built this is to house 25 chickens. It's made out of two by four and two by three with a trifold top. So you can get inside this thing. It is heavy. Predators can't lift this thing up, but neither can I and neither can Nicole. So we have to come up with a solution for that. Well, if you put wheels on the back of a chicken tractor that are always touching the ground, what do you've got? You've got a gap. That gap, predators, okay. So what do you do? I'm gonna tell you right now. We're gonna put up on the screen a nice little design that I created. This is supposed to house, and you can pick one up at any hardware store. I went to Home Depot, got a lawnmower wheel that was six inches round, and I decided to create a housing around that wheel, something with no moving parts, something that I could raise and lower to move around the chicken tractor. You're sitting there going, what are you talking about? What does that mean? Well, let's keep going. I'm going to show you the next picture and just a little bit different view of how this bracket actually attaches to the rear of the chicken tractor itself. Okay, so the wheel house is in there. And if you get up close on the side, you can actually see the little half moon with a little notch in there. Basically, all that is doing is that wheel is riding in that. And as you pick up the rear of that chicken tractor, the wheel falls down, gets in that groove, and now it's raised. It's very simple. Let's move on. Uh, you're looking at my very first prototype on this. I didn't know if it would work, but you know what? It did. So I went back to the drawing board, made it a little bit stronger, made it sleeker, and here's what you got now. So they are Christmas colors, green and red, because I didn't know if it would take, and I had some extra PETG filament laying around. Uh, and if anybody doesn't know what that kind of filament is, it's the same type of plastic that's in your water bottles. So it will last in the sunlight, it won't break down, and it's very strong. So the next picture that you're going to see, we're going to do a little bit close up here. Now you can actually see the main all thread rod that goes through that little kind of uh, half moon shape. And that houses the wheel, is completely encased in that housing. So this way, it's kind of a really nice, sleek design. No water will get to the wheel, so that won't rust out. And the biggest thing, there's no moving parts. We use the KISS method. Keep it simple, stupid. Next, we're gonna go into chicken feeders. We're gonna talk about that a little bit. There's a lot of DIY options out there right now using PVC pipe. I didn't wanna go that route. The reason I didn't wanna go that route is one, you've got two different options. You can either make a trough that you've got to fill, 
or you're going to make a long PVC pipe that's going to gravity feed down. Problem with that is at the bottom you can only have one chicken feeding off of it unless you feed it into a trough and then you're relying on gravity to spread it out. How is that going to work? Well, I designed this feeder right here and it's all 3D printed. It's probably 12 to 13 inches in diameter and uh, it's probably about uh, 16 inches tall. It's got a screw top. There's a cone top that also goes on to the screw top of the uh, feeder. This way it keeps all your chickens from getting on top and defecating in their food. They slide right off of it. Okay, so this feeder can feed eight chickens at a time. Whoa. Eight chickens at a time. All around and they all have room. Beautiful. For that backyard farmer that's only got four to six chickens, this is for you. It will also last over a week with food. This thing holds probably 15 pounds of food in it. They don't make this stuff. You can't buy it. So this is a great 3D print that can help you on your chicken farm. Oh, by the way, if you want any information about these 3D printed items, or have questions about how to do it, or how to even get into 3D printing, drop me a comment below, and I'll be more than happy to go over all that with you. Next up on the screen, we're gonna show you the inside of the chicken coop. Now, I've decided to make the inside of this chicken coop easy to be cleaned and accessible. Now, you don't wanna to have to be climbing through a bunch of uh, perches on the inside of your coop, and nor do you wanna be unscrewing all of them every week to try to clean everything. So I designed 3D printed plastic brackets that go inside this coop that every piece of wood can be taken out by hand, no tools. Bada bing, bada boom. Easy to clean because if it's hard, hard to get to, hard to clean, hard to do, you're less likely to do it. So the key here is everything is ease of use and accessibility. All right. A lot of people are sitting there going, well, I can go to the hardware store, I can pick up some joist hangers, pop them in, you're good. Well, then you don't know anything about chickens because how would you like it to be standing on some really sharp edge pieces of metal? You're not gonna like it, it's gonna hurt your feet just like it will those chicken feet. So by being plastic, all the edges I designed are rounded and they're plastic. It's never gonna rust, they're not ever gonna hurt themselves on it. And it's, again, easy to clean. Next. So the very last thing is for all those people just starting out and getting their little chicks. Whenever you go to Tractor Supply or any of the stores that you see online and you want to buy a feeder for your chicks, especially if you've only got four to ten chicks, well, all the feeders are two foot long or three foot long and they have like 40 different openings in them. You don't need that. And what are you gonna do with it after they've grown up? So what I decided to do was design a chicken feeder that's only about six or eight inches long. Uh, it's got about two or three inches wide. And the biggest part of this chicken feeder that is the most miraculous part of it is the roller bar on top. Now this roller bar that you see on top of here is completely free spinning. So if that chick jumps on top of there, they can't sit there. They're gonna spin right off and they won't defecate in the food. It's all about preserving food and putting more money in your pocket, right? We don't wanna be wasteful. You're on a homestead anyway. So everything that we have, we wanna reuse and we don't want them wasting the food. That just gives you a brief introduction to 3D printing and what it can do for you on your homestead and what it can mean for you on your homestead. Because let me tell you something, with all the different nuances that you're gonna run into on your homestead that are specific to you, 3D printer might sound like the solution because you can design something, create it, and make it for you, for your needs, and nobody else's. You can't buy that at a store. So in closing, I wanna thank everybody for joining us today at the Clinch River Homestead and talking about 3D printers. This was a brief introduction on the 3D printers, on how they work. We're gonna go into more videos in the future on upgrades to this 3D printer. 
And we're actually going to show you a 3, the 3D printer in action working and making something that we can use for our channel right now. With that being said, I'd like to thank everybody for joining us today. I'd like to welcome all of our new members. Thanks to all of our current subscribers that are coming back and joining us. If there's any comments, please leave them down below. And uh, if you like that video, it would really help us out if you smash that thumbs up, click subscribe, and tick the little bell to get notified on future videos. That's all for today. Thanks for joining us at Clinch River Homestead.